Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. Tonight I'm not going to be fulfilling a request. Tonight I'm going to make something that I want to make. This last week I sat around work thinking about, man, what would I like to make this coming week? You know, I've been getting a lot of requests for Malaysian food. I've been getting a lot of requests for more pasta dishes. But every now and again, I've got to deviate from that to keep everything fair. So, I thought, you know what, I'm going to make some Vietnamese food, okay? But I don't want to make anything typical Vietnamese, you know, like with chicken, beef, or pork. I want to do something different, okay? So, I spent a lot of time this week doing some research, and I decided to do some Vietnamese food this week with the main ingredient called an eel. <laughs> eel. Okay, a lot of people just have a really weird disposition when it comes to eels, okay? A lot of people I know go, Ugh, no, eel, no way, man. It's a snake. Well, to tell you the truth, okay, an eel is a fish, and it's not a snake. Although, it's a fish with a really wicked bite if you get in its way. But the fact of the matter is, is an eel is a nice, fatty, oily, thick meated fish. And you can get two kinds of eel. You can get saltwater eel, they're a little bit thin. Or you can get the Vietnamese conger eel that comes from the rivers of Vietnam. And that's what I'm working with tonight, the Vietnamese conger eel. Um, when I was thinking about putting this recipe together, I thought, wow, how much the Italians and the Vietnamese have in common because the fact of the matter is Italians love eel and I love eel and during the celebration of Christmas Eve Italians make the Feast of Seven Fishes and a lot of those seven fishes includes eel. They can fry it, they can marinate it, they can roast it, roll it, barbecue it, grill it it doesn't matter. It's the Feast of Seven Fishes for the Italians. So I'd like to say thank you to the Italians and thank you to the Vietnamese for both loving eel. So tonight I'm going to be making wok tossed eel. Now usually this dish is made with mung bean or glass thread noodle. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to use the Italian equivalent of thin spaghetti and the reason I'm doing that is for the chew okay for the chew of the dish okay because mung beans really don't have much of a chew but Italian pasta certainly does and to that also I'm going to add some stewed Italian tomatoes to the sambal or the sauce that I'm going to use to cook the fish so I'm going to add a little bit of Italian fusion into this Vietnamese dish but I promise it's going to be delicious. So, as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes, let's get going, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so, before I get to cooking the eel, I need to make the sambal, or the paste. Okay, here is the Italian influence, right here, some stewed tomatoes. And then, I'm going to be putting in some freshly chopped turmeric root, okay? Now, to that turmeric root, okay, 25 Thai bird chilies red and two Thai bird chilies green for the heat. A little bit of garlic and some shallot, standard Southeast Asian flavors and I'm going to make a paste or a sambal. So here we go. We're going to put it in the processor and we're going to grind it. Then we're going to chop it. Grind it. Okay, this sambal is done. I'm not going to make it smooth. I want it a little bit coarse, a little bit chunky, okay? And we're going to move on to the next step. 
Okay, now I've got some oil eaten in the wok. And I'm going to add my sambal. All right. Here we go. So I'm heating up my aromatics right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Now. This is the chili and the shallot, okay, turmeric and the diced tomatoes. And I'm gonna heat this up, okay. Get it up against the side, see that? Yeah, there we go. That's how you cook with a wok. Get it up against the sides where it's nice and hot. There you go. I'm gonna cook this for about a minute or two get this nice and heated. All right, this sambal has been cooking for about three minutes and it's nice and fragrant. Now I'm going to add lemongrass. Oh, God. I love lemongrass. Okay. Oh, cell phone's ringing. Somebody's trying to get me, but guess what? I'm not going to answer because I'm too busy cooking for you guys. So there it is. So there it is. I add some lemongrass. And I'm going to cook that until the lemongrass is fragrant. Oh, God, it smells so good. Now I'm going to cook this lemongrass for about two minutes in this sambal paste. And then I'm going to add the eel. So hang on tight. Okay, so this sandbell's been cooking for about three minutes, and in goes the eel. Okay, this is conger eel, Vietnamese conger eel. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to toss this eel in this sandbell for about three minutes. Okay. Get it cooked through. Oh, yeah. There we go. Right. I'm going to toss this eel for about three minutes. Get it to cook through in the sambal. And then I'm going to move on to the next step. Okay. And we can add a little water to it. There we go. There we go. You can add about three ounces of water. Get the sunball to spread out. There we go. All right. I'm going to cook this for a few minutes. And then I'll be back for the next step. Okay. So. The eel's been cooking. The eel's been cooking for about three minutes. And that there is Thai hot curry. There we go. That there is Thai hot curry. That's going to spice things up a little bit. There we go. Into that, I'm going to add wood ear mushrooms. All right. All right. There we go. Okay, guys. Now, we're going to add some fish sauce with some sugar. Okay. That's about two tablespoons of fish sauce with about two tablespoons of sugar diluted into it. There we go. Goes really good with that Thai curry. And we're going to add some onions. Regular 
cut wedge onions. So I'm going to get them coated. There we go. I'm going to get them coated. There we go. You notice that the eel hasn't broken up because the kind of spatula I'm using gets right underneath it and won't break it up. Oh yeah. There we go. Now, going to add a little bit of white pepper. Going to add a little bit of black pepper. And I'm going to cook this for about another two minutes. Get those onion wedges nice and soft. Okay. There we go. Now, there we go. There we go. There's the pasta. Okay. There's the pasta. There we go. I'm going to mix that in. I cooked the pasta a little bit al dente, a little bit harder than al dente because I knew it was going to cook in this dish and suck up the sauces. Okay. If you have to add a little bit of water like I just did, to get things moving. That's fine. There you go. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Traditionally, like I said, this dish would be done with mung bean noodle. But I'm going to use Italian noodle. Now I'm going to cook this for about two or three minutes and then we're going to plate up. Alright, I've added just a little bit of water to get things moving around. I'm about two minutes from plating and I'm going to add some freshly chopped Thai basil. <laughs> God, I love Thai basil. Okay, and I'm going to mix that in there. Okay. And I'm going to plate up. There it is, guys. Wok tossed eel garnished with chopped peanuts, Thai curry, Italian spaghetti. Going to do the fusion basil, pepper. It's a delicious dish. If you like Asian food, you'll like this. Go ahead and make this dish, make it your own, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Okay guys, there you have it. Wok tossed eel, Vietnamese style, with a little bit of an Italian influence. I'm glad to stop by. I hope you make this dish. I hope you make it your own, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. I'll see you soon.